football. This time it's the other way. Same result. This is the nightmare story of a £100 World Cup bet that won a 90 to 1 but ended up leaving a player with a sour taste in their mouth. A shocking sequence of events given the accumulator selections. To set the scene, Shane Grant fancied his chances with a World Cup accumulator bet for three teams to score three or more goals during qualification. The bookmaker, Coral, one of the largest betting operators in the UK, now part of the Entang Group, took his bet via one of their shops in Eastern Bristol. The shop staff phoned head office for the odds and to confirm the bet with the company's risk management team and everything was fine so Asheen even asked if they were sure about the odds before placing the bet to which they replied yes gladly taking his money in the process now because of this Asheen staked more than he would have normally thinking it was a decent bet but nothing further was said and the coral betting shop staff even signed the bet slip for him overall if the bet should come in he was looking at a 9200 £150 payday. For context, the Entain Group reported a first half revenue of £2.1 billion earlier this year, up 19% from the year previous. Now, with around 6 million football fans betting on each World Cup, it's hard to believe what happened next. Shane's bet was for France, Argentina and Serbia to all score three or more goals in their 2014 qualifying matches. So when Serbia managed to slip three goals past Wales, France banged four against Belarus and Argentina hammered Paraguay 5-2, you can only imagine Eshane's reaction to winning so much money. Being unemployed at the time, he thought it was the financial break he desperately needed. He later said that he was planning on handing some cash to relatives and spending the rest on a car and decorating his home. But first, his immediate reaction was to sponsor the subscribe button for honest betting content because the bookies certainly won't do it. I want to go out celebrating with friends, sharing the wealth and spending more than £200 in the process. The following morning, he went back to the same betting shop with a spring in his step to collect his winnings. Now, as you might expect, bookies don't keep tens of thousands of pounds on the premises for obvious reasons. The betting shop staff checked a Shane's winning bet and told him to come back the following day to collect. But this is where it gets a little bit nasty and really quite unfair. On arriving to collect his winnings long after the bet had been placed and won, the shop staff said there had been a mistake. They were claiming that the wrong bet had been accepted and was in fact a palpable error. For anyone who's unaware, a palpable error is when a bookmaker voids a bet due to an obvious mistake. Although in this case, it wasn't so obvious to the coral staff that took the bet in the shop, headquarters when it was phoned through, or the trading team that confirms they were willing to lay over 9,000 pounds in liability on a rather unique bet. Now, sadly for a Shane, in the UK, bookies are able to claim bets as palpable errors like this, unlike other jurisdictions such as the United States. So they often get away without paying up in full. Here's the section of Coral's terms and conditions that cover it. Like all betting companies, they're somewhat subjective and vague with the caveat of no responsibility. And the regulator licenses them even with terms like this. There aren't any shortage of palpable error cases with Coral either. To quickly highlight a few. Lee Beardmore thought he'd won £1,250 from a golf bet of £1. The company eventually paid him out at just £66. Jack Walland was refused £815 in winnings when he correctly predicted the winning team, correct score and first goal scorer. The bet was then settled as a £65 winner but one of the worst and previously covered on this channel was when Phil Worthington, a 72 year old pensioner, was totally done out of a thousand pound winnings on a special bet advertised by the company in a national newspaper. It's not really that fair, is it? I mean, to my knowledge, I've never heard of a bookmaker recalling betting slips and returning winnings to losing punters when they'd made a mistake. Palpable errors appear to be a one-way mechanism that financially benefit bookmakers' sloppy business practices, while they take billions in betting revenue every single year. How many people have lost money through wrongly priced bets in the alternate direction? In this particular case, a coral spokesman said the bets are written as three or more goals however the coral member of staff has incorrectly applied the odds for four or more goals so they admitted their mistake but they decided that they weren't going to pay for it so i can't blame machine when he said he doesn't want to hear their excuses after all they even telephoned the bets through and signed the betting slip now i'll reveal what happened in his case in just a second but there's not much that he could do here because ibas the independent betting adjudication service would almost certainly 
settle this case in Coral's favour and they knew it. Their spokesman even told the newspaper, we sympathise with the customer and as the error was made by the member of staff, we have offered to settle the bet at the very best prices available anywhere on the high street on the correct market requested. Now since the last World Cup, many betting companies' behaviour has got significantly worse. Palpable errors are bad, but refusing withdrawals and exploiting requests for personal documents is one of the biggest problems happening right now. So if you experience it, be sure to document absolutely everything and submit complaints to IBAS, the Gambling Commission and the Information Commissioner's Office. Spread the word, don't let them get away with it. Eventually Coral paid a Shane's bet as a £1,216 winner, £8,034 less than he originally expected. It's disgusting that cases like this happen where £1,000 winnings on a unique football bet were refused after the company paid to advertise it in a national newspaper. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.